na Yesu asifiwe. Amen. Kumiliki mataifa. Mimi ni wakala mabadiliko. Tanzania is an East African country situated just south of the equator. Tanzania was formed as a sovereign state in 1964 through the union of the separate states of Tanganyika and Zanzibar. The current population of the United Republic of Tanzania is about 64 million people as of 2023 based on worldometer elaboration of the latest United Nations data. Over 100 different languages are spoken in Tanzania, making it the most linguistically diverse country with Swahili as the national language. Data available according to Britannica website indicates that roughly one-third of the Tanzanian population is Muslim. An additional one-third of Tanzanians profess Christianity. The remainder of the population is considered to hold traditional beliefs. The Church of Pentecost, Tanzania, is about 23 years old. The church in Tanzania started from the fringes of the country, humble beginnings as usual. The church entered the country of Tanzania through Dar es Salaam through the missionary work of Apostle Anthony E. K. Ekuban in the year 2000. The story of the Church of Pentecost in Tanzania started somewhere in the mid-1990s when missionaries like Apostle Alfred Kodia and Apostle S.Y. Entry passed through Tanzania to do some groundbreaking work. But officially, the first missionary who was assigned to Tanzania was Apostle Anthony E.K. Ikuban, who arrived in Tanzania in the year 2000. After him, Apostle Apia Misa, Nicholas Apia Misa, um, came to Tanzania in the year 2007, which means Apostle Ikuban stayed in Tanzania for seven years. Now, between 2007 and 2012, a period of five years, um, it is on record that Apostle Apia Misa spread the work to many parts of the land. Um, after him, Apostle Daniel Yebu and Safu also came, and he also continued in the good work of those who had come before him. And he also was here from 2012 to 2017, and then in 2017, Pastor Eric K. Somwa became the missionary for Tanzania. In the year 2018, missionary Atache, um, Pastor Sika Kwame, and his wife Bianca were also um, stationed in Tanzania. And so he took over the PIWC work that had started at Kinondoni, uh, which um, later moved to the conference room of a hotel, and then finally uh, were housed at the number 28 Orsino Street facility, which was purchased by the missions board of the church for the church in Tanzania to be used by the PRWC in Dar es Salaam. Um, and it was in 2021 that Pastor Eric Sumwa was transferred back to Ghana. And then um, in 2022, Pastor Sika Kwame was also transferred to Luxembourg and Liechtenstein. For his replacement, we now have Pastor Isaac Aikukwashi, who is handling the PIWC in Dar es Salaam. He started his work in August of 2022, and so far, so very good. Um, we came to Tanzania in 2021, by the grace of God, in August, and we have been at post from that time up to this time.
After over 20 years of ministry in the country, one would have expected so much success in terms of numbers and infrastructure. But like in other places and even the beginning of the church in Ghana, the church in Tanzania has had its own challenges. The church in Tanzania has gone through uh, many challenges in the 23 years of its existence. Um, chief of which has been breakaways, you know, in the church. Um, it is on record that churches in Arusha, uh, some of the churches in Tabora and Uyankulu, and then also um, the Kipunguni church has suffered a lot of break, breakaways, where people who were leading the churches, um, because of some misunderstanding, um, took, you know, whole churches and sometimes carried members from the church to go and begin other ministries. That has been one major challenge that has kept our membership, you know, at, at a low level. Many people have become members but who have been carried out by other people to start their ministries in times past. Another challenge I see is the language barrier. Our missionaries who have come from Ghana uh, have to take time before they can um, get into the Kiswahili language. Now, in East Africa, uh, Tanzania, um, I can say, is one nation where Kiswahili is used more than any other nation. It is um, the official language of instruction in school and the lingua franca, you know, uh, in the marketplaces and on the streets. And that also makes it very difficult for the missionaries' communication to really get to the people. Today, the Church of Pentecost in Tanzania has a total membership of 2,733. But the rebranding and repositioning has started. The church is moving on and new doors are opening already, a sign that God is behind the agenda and is ready to take the church to the next level. Yes, I think we are ready. Um, very much ready to rebrand the church. And I see the rebranding in two ways. It is not just about moving or concentrating only at the city centers, but even our churches in the villages, we want to give them a certain branding so that even where they are, they will be seen as, you know, um, a church that is modern, a church that can hold, you know, the intellectuals who may be in the village as well as village folk, a church which is housed properly, a church that is decent, that have all the facilities properly repositioned to be able to make, you know, impact wherever it is. And, and in the cities, we want to have a strategy of locating our churches at prime areas and then also making sure that the type of buildings we put up and then the way we do our things would be able to reach this generation. Where we are standing now is Kiskuru Tabatha in Dar es Salaam. There was a church here many years ago and this land was bought by Apostle Apia Misa. Um, there was a temporary structure here 
um, where the members used to meet. And unfortunately, um, heavy rains tore that structure down. And um, all the members, you know, left and have joined other churches. And so for more than 12 years, nothing has happened here. So this year, um, last year, we had um, envisioned to have a crusade in Kisukuru to begin the church in Kisukuru once again. By the grace of God, PIWC Kwabenya Atomic gave us a grant of 5,000 US dollars to support that crusade. But when we got the money, we felt that um, it would be better to invest that money into this project so that we rather do house to house evangelism, street evangelism, um, uh, store to store evangelism to get members. And so all the assemblies in Dar es Salaam put ourselves together and we did um, Saturday evangelism for six continuous weeks. And by the grace of God, we have had many members and we have restarted the Kisukuru Church. Currently, they are meeting in a rented hall in a hotel which is very close to this place. Um, Apostle Apia Misa had begun a foundation on this ground many years ago, but after it was left for so long, we had to um, rework the foundation and by the grace of God, that donation that came from uh, Piado Visi Atomic was used to erect these pillars that you see. And the work is going on. We want to finish this in record time so that the assembly will leave the rented place and come and inhabit this place. Kiskuru Tabatha is a densely populated area in Dar es Salaam with all, I mean, people of all walks of life here. We believe that when we finish this structure, the church will be filled in no time. We want to build such a beautiful auditorium here that can serve this community. Salama. This piece of land is expected to house the Dodoma City Church and hopefully become a house of prayer to the elite population that is quickly moving to the community. As part of the government's infrastructural development to bring Dodoma up as a befitting capital city, already about 300 residential apartments have been built just a few kilometers away from the property which is only miles away from the University of Dodoma. In October 2022, we had the Dodoma for Christ crusade. And out of the souls that were won from that crusade, we have started the Dodoma City Church. Now we had to get them a prime location that could be able to house that vision. And God being so good, God led us to this property, which is in a very prime area in the new Dodoma, which is the capital of Tanzania. Behind me is the University of Dodoma, which is the largest university in Tanzania. And then also we have um, the new gated community that has been built by the government. Over 350 housing units which are yet to be inhabited. Right in front of it, God gave us this place. Now surrounding us are government agencies that are going to be built in the few years to come. There is a hospital next to us and there are many state agencies here. This land is 4,017 square meters. And by the grace of God, when we uh, got wind of this land and we made the move, God helped us with a donation from Elder Eric and Mrs. Adai from the Mamprobi Central Assembly, uh, who donated money, and part of that money has been used to acquire this land. Um, the land cost us uh, some $22,000, and there's still some of the donation which can be used to begin the project. But the vision for this place, um, according to the government plan, this place was originally zoned for a school. And we thought that that is still 
um, an area we could exploit to um, possess the nations. And so we have decided to keep the idea of the school within the Dodoma City Church vision so that this place will become the Pentecost Mission Center Dodoma, which will house both the International School and the Dodoma City Church. We see that in the years to come, this place is going to be um, an area that would house you know, middle class and upper class um, persons in society. And the Dodoma City Church would just be the right place for them. I am an agent of transformation. Possessing the nation. I am an agent of transformation. We are just about to cross this river and go to Lubengela, where we're going to have service with our members and also dedicate some chapels. In fact, the land is ripe for the harvest of souls and we are pleading and asking all of you to keep on praying for us and supporting missions. were sponsored to attend the Pensa Ghana conference as a way of preparing them to help start Pensa in the schools. The church in Tanzania has an indigenous population making about 98% of the total population of members of the church. Other nationals including Ghanaians make up about 2%. Tanzania is also blessed with a beautiful tribe of the Maasai. The Church of Pentecost in Tanzania, through the harm intervention, is reaching them. Normally, when we talk about the Maasai tribe, many people think about Kenya, but there are also Maasai in Tanzania. Actually, the headquarters of all the Maasai is, is in Arusha, which is here in Tanzania. 
the, uh, the Maasai in Tanzania spread to many places. In Dar es Salaam and in many of the city centers, they move a lot. They work as security men because they, they are known to be fearless, you know, and they are very disciplined people. They are very faithful people and hardworking. And so many people want to employ them to, uh, I mean, in the, in the area of security. Here in Dar es Salaam, we have started the Maasai ministry um, as a church. This was done uh, by my predecessors, and we are also continuing uh, from where they left off. We see that the Maasai ministry must be given a lot of attention because of the nature of the Maasai people themselves, their discipline, their commitment, you know, their hard work. And if we are able to grow um, the Maasai ministry in Tanzania, um, it, would, it, would, it would be a big blessing to the leadership of the church in Tanzania and even structures that we want to build. We know that the Maasai are well structured, have well structured family systems and they move in families. And so once we get the heads of families and the Mwenyekitis, that is the chairman of the various Maasai communities, we'll be able to attract sometimes the whole Maasai community uh, to Christ. Currently, we have um, Johanna Omano, who, is, who has just been appointed the national youth leader for the Church of Pentecost in Tanzania, who is a Maasai. He is also coming on board as a bivocational minister. And his faithfulness and his commitment to the church is awesome. We need more of them. And I trust that God will help us to spread our work among the Maasai in Tanzania also. Kenya is doing very well in this Maasai ministry. And we want to actually learn from them and be able to grow our Maasai ministry here in Tanzania also. Like what God is doing in other nations, an army of young and indigenous is rising here in Tanzania, ready to take over, to be used to move the church in Tanzania forward. It is a joy to know that deliberate efforts are being made to prepare them for this. The youth alone, 1,320. So that is about half of the church are young people, uh, I mean are youth. And then the children are also 768. Other adults are only 645. So you see that the Tanzanian church is a young church. And you see it when you go to all the assemblies. Talk about Lubengela, where we have this powerful Watoto choir. That is the children's choir. That ministers so powerfully. In every district you go, you see that there is an emerging generation. There's a young, I mean, a teaming, you know, younger generation that is ready to take over the church and for me um, the future of the church is on their mind what they are thinking about today is what the church is going to be like
is changing and repositioning the Church of Pentecost in Tanzania. The grace of God in the few years, um, God himself has given us access to um, a lot of property. Last year, we were able to buy 10 acres of land in Kelolo, which we are going to use for farming. And we think that um, as part of our social services, um, we can engage our members who already have the skill in farming uh, so that um, that will become a resource to supplement the um, finances of the church. That has already been bought and the project is just about to start. We have been able to purchase land for the Erenga Mission House. We have been able to, by the grace of God, um, start, I mean, purchase land and begin a project at Ilagala. We have been able to um, acquire the Dodoma City Church land fully paid for. With an obvious impact of the church, a great relationship with state and favor in with authorities and the miraculous opening of uncommon doors. It is obvious that the Lord is doing a new thing with the church in Tanzania. Talking about uh, collaboration with the state, and the PRWC Dar es Salaam under the leadership of Pastor Sika Kwame were able to have some funding from the German government during the COVID-19 period and they used that to do what was called the Corona Project, where they bought food items during the time that people uh, could not move around and people could not work uh, to supply to poor folks and others to help the government during that difficult period. And um, also, um, we have engaged in some prison ministry. You know, the PRWC Dar es Salaam uh, has done that. I have gone out with them at least twice. I mean, to two prisons. Um, the Dodoma City Church, which started just about um, seven weeks ago from the time we are doing this interview, has already visited the Dodoma prison. And I was there with them. We visited the male prison with gifts. We visited the female prison with gifts. And in all these places, we went in the name of the Church of Pentecost International. We sent them medicines. We sent them food items. We sent them other things they had requested for. And I think all those engagements uh, are a way by which we are partnering with the government in this process in the nation's agenda. In three years back, I joined PIWC through the invitation from my friends and I've been here since then up to now. Well, the church has been so impactful to me as I got to meet new people in my life, uh, growing in spiritual. Uh, I thank God for the PIWC and the old leadership and I welcome you all to join us. I've joined PIWC two years ago through Pastor Sika Kwame. He met me in uh, Air Saloon one of the sisters in Christ of PRWC was, um, was having a salon in Dar es Salaam and I was making my hair there. So when Pastor Sika came to pick up his daughter Malaika, the sister told him that uh, I'm a francophone. So he started speaking French with me and then he invited me uh, to, to come and visit PRWC. So I came, I think it was the first Sunday of uh, 2021. So it's been two years now, I'm a member of PIWC. Yesu asfiwe, inawasalimu katika jina la Yesu. Kwa jina naitua Elmina Jeremia Biabato. Nimejiunga na kanisa la Pentecost International. I joined the Church of Pentecost International in the year 1999 with my husband, who were serving under Apostle Biso, or Pastor Biso at the time. And after years, they had to move to Kisukuru, to continue the church. We didn't have land and so we were renting at the time. But then after two years we were able to acquire our land at Kisukuru. But after some time we moved to Kipunguni where we were under Pastor Eric. So after some time at Kipunguni we also had to move to PIWC where we started the church at PIWC. But then it was said that part of the members can remain at PIWC and others would remain at Kipunguni. So the Church of Pentecost has been a blessing in my life and I thank God for that. 
The birth of the new Church of Pentecost Tanzania is imminent. I can see the birth pangs because it is conspicuously clear. The birth pangs have increased and the Lord has started raising midwives. They are privileged to be invited to become part of the story of what God is doing with the Church of Pentecost in Tanzania as intercessors and as financial missionaries. PIWC Atomic sure were quick to read the times. About four years ago, PIWC Dar es Salaam was established. And by the grace of God, Kidogo, Kidogo, we are moving forward. The role of PIWC Dar es Salaam in the repositioning of the church in Tanzania cannot be overemphasized. Its congregation is strong and vibrant. Good music is extremely important to the people and PIWC has a lot of it. It is located at a prime area, about 100 meters from a flat accommodation, waiting to be occupied by government workers. The story of the Church of Pentecost Tanzania cannot be told without a glowing tribute to the following people who have done financial missions in the country. PIWC Sakumono supported um, the purchase of instruments for Kipunguni God richly bless you for that PRWC, Kanishi, and Asankregua area also supported us to buy land for the Mission House project at Erenga. Um, PIWC Atomic also supported us um, with some funds, which was originally intended for a crusade, uh, but we channeled it to begin or to continue the Kisukuru building project. PRWC Asukwa also supported us um, with some funds. God richly bless you. Um, the Church of Pentecost Youth Ministry in the United States of America, led by Apostle Dr. Mike Potofi, they helped us with purchasing instruments for Dodoma and also helping in part of the Lubengela project. And by the grace of God, we have dedicated the Lubengela um, church building. It is the youth of the uh, uh, of the U.S. that helped with the windows, the doors, and then the tiling of the floor. God richly bless you for those donations. The Church of Pentecost Chicago District has purchased an uncompleted building in um, Tabora to be used by the Kedato Assembly. God richly bless you for that um, gesture. And any other person who has been praying and supporting us, we want to say that God richly bless you. Every uh, CD or dollar that you have given to the church in Tanzania is being put to the purpose for which it was given. And I believe that all glory shall be to God. And the people who are receiving would also have that ease to be able to serve God more faithfully. So thank you and God richly bless you for your various contributions to the Church of Pentecost International Tanzania. Beloved in Christ, it is so much joy to be in ministry, especially in a foreign land, preaching the gospel to other people. In fact, it is fulfilling and we want to continue to encourage you to pray with us. Mimi Nafuhara Ukutana Nawewe May God bless you Oh, amen. I believe in what God can do in Tanzania. Kidogo, kidogo, tutafika kwa nema ya mungu kazi endelea. Continue to pray with us and we believe that God will see us through. Indeed, kidogo, kidogo, tutafika. Amen. From the Republic of Tanzania, Kwabna Mante reporting for the International Missions Office and Pen TV. Here with me is Albert and Isaac Atapoku. Uh, Atapoku has some lovely experiences in Tanzania, you know, and I'm sure he will tell us a bit of it as we move along. But enjoy it. These are special moments in Tanzania. Abraham reporting for Pen TV.